Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do your weekly read. This is going to be for the sign of Libra. It's going to be from the 22nd through the end of the month, but because the date is just a contingency, whenever you come across it is when you're meant to see it. Here's little Delilah. She just lays here looking cute and sleeping. She's our little spirit guide and mascot here on the channel. Let's get into this, Libra. As above, so below. It is with an attitude of gratitude. I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relate clear and concise messages for the higher good, and I do mean the higher good, the collective of Libra. So Libra, we hope you're doing great today and, you know, for the holiday season. And in case nobody told you today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. So here we go. Show me Libra. Whoa, Libra, what the? Holy hell. All right. So you're standing your grounds right now. You're, you're, you could be defending yourself. You have the seven of wands. So there is some kind of... Um, protectiveness or perseverance, maybe some kind of competition around you. Okay, you are going to get, we like this card, the Ace of Swords. This brings clarity, power, a truth, some kind of a breakthrough that's going to give you the key to something and you're going to be successful and triumphant. It could be whatever this is that you've been standing your ground against, Libra. The foundation of the situation, oh my own, you had a tower. So some kind of a surprise, a shock, something you didn't see coming. You know, spirit coming in and breaking down that tower so you have to go and build a new one, right? So something, uh... now, crowning you, you have Aquarius energy. This is good. This is hope for the future. This is, uh, you know, beauty. This talks about um, some kind of um, inspiration or creativity or renewal or healing or spirituality. But it's, a, it's an excellent card. You also have the Six of Pentacles coming into your future, what you don't see. So some kind of generosity, some kind of support, maybe material help, whether you're giving it or getting it. There's gratitude in this giving, though. It's gratitude in this giving. You also have the Emperor, Aries Energy. So some of you might have this in your chart. This is, you know, or if not, there's an Aries around you. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This is stable, dependable traditional, structured, it's an authority, it could be a father or a father figure, but it doesn't have to be somebody who um, oversees maybe other people or, yeah. Okay, you do have a king of pentacles in your environment. So this could be you, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, you know, place it, male or female, or somebody that's in your environment that is a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, and uh, financially stable, hardworking, reliable, responsible, businessman they could have their own business or women doesn't matter you do have the higher funds as your advice so you know this is about maybe sharing what knowledge you have right the wise old owl teaching the this young excuse me girl or you know the higher font is about traditionalism institution institution so doing things by the book doing things correctly Making sure all your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted, okay? Any paperwork that you might have to sign, contracts of any sort, make sure you read the fine print, okay? There is, uh, at the Five of Cups, there is going to be some kind of loss and sadness here. There is going to be some kind of regret. The Five of Cups talks about, you know, memories, sentimentality. Um, it's the holiday season. That's a given. You have a King of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. This King of Cups is, uh, who's your daddy? The King of Cups is Cancer Pisces or Scorpio Libra. Somebody who's loving, kind, fair, balanced, and emotionally mature and stable. Now, show me what the Seven of Wands is. So you got the Hermit in Reverse. All right, so it's Virgo energy. And the Hermit in Reverse talks about uh, maybe some loneliness or isolation. The Hermit in Reverse also talks about... Um, yeah, not taking the time out to um, follow your own inner guidance. You have a Queen of Cups here. Well, there's the King's counterpart. Um, Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, somebody who's very loving, very giving, very kind, nurturing, usually overgiving. Here's Gemini energy for having to make a choice, and it could... It could very well have to be, you know, about a relationship. It's a big choice. It's a life choice. It could have something to do with a water sign. Um, so now we have Gemini energy. So we have Virgo, water, and Gemini. Let's see what we have. You've got, uh, yeah, a reciprocated offer of emotions. So, you know, there's a reciprocated offer of emotions on the table here, and you guys have to make some kind of decision about it. It's, it's, it's going to be a big choice. Should I stay or should I go? Could involve a Gemini. And also, I'm not, you know... 
Listen, I'm not giving medical advice here, so, you know, disclaimer, but some of you might need to go get a checkup at this time. It's time to drive by the doctor and do a visit, right? Here you go. We got the Emperor again, Aries energy. That's twice. So there is Aries very predominantly here, Libra. Um, either somebody that's around you or somebody, you know, or you just being in control. Stable, reliable, structured, responsible. Male or female, you know, I don't, it doesn't, uh, you got temperance here. So temperance is Sagittarian energy and temperance is about not losing your cool. It's about having some kind of a inner calm and peace and being tranquil with yourself. Temperance is about... You know, yeah, being harmonious, but especially with yourself, okay? So not losing your cool. It's a card of self-control. Some of you, you know, you could be very, being very quiet right now. Maybe you need some rest. Maybe you're recuperating, replenishing your body, getting some sleep. That's a good thing. Here we go. You have, uh, oh, God, the win at all costs card. So you got a five of swords. Somebody who's jealous, deceitful, they want to win at all costs, okay? The five of swords talks about... Um, yeah, competition, arguments, disputes. All right. Yeah, and then you got some kind of information coming in with a page of wands, a younger fire sign. Maybe this person wants to win at all costs, but they could be sending you some kind of message. Maybe they don't think you know that, okay? Uh, you do have, oh, you got a page of wands and a page of pentacles. So you definitely are going to get some kind of communication, Libra, okay? Now, it could be from a fire sign or an earth sign or somebody that has both in their chart, but somebody that wants to, you know, start something with you here, okay? Now, what I could tell you is this. This could be also a new financial endeavor, a new job or something like that. But, um, I mean, this person, they could be immature. They could be younger or immature, but they definitely are eager. Yeah, look, a new beginning. Somebody wants a new beginning here. Um, yeah, and you're going to be hearing about it, and I'm hearing quickly as well. Libra, you have uh, a Six of Swords in reverse. So the Six of Swords in reverse talks about running away from your problems or maybe being stuck or trapped in the past, okay? And this, you know, you could be... If you were very generous and kind to somebody and you, you know, you could be stuck on that if they, if you feel like you were taken for a ride or they used you, okay? You do have this Aries energy for taking a new leap of faith. So there's a lot of Aries on the board here. Um, so don't be stuck in the past, in the past. If that's you, just get over it and take this new leap of faith into your future. I'm hearing. You also have the two of, um, wands in reverse. So this talks about some kind of attention, some kind of tension or disharmony, a separation, a withdrawal, maybe not trusting this new leap of faith that somebody wants you to take here. You have a nine of pentacles, which will be successful. Let me write this down. Libra. Okay. So, yeah. All right. There, there, well, you can be successful at this. All right. Now, you also have, yeah, what did I tell you? Victory and success. So, there is victory and success on top of success here. You just can't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just take the leap of faith. You've got nothing to lose. And by the way, thank you again for hitting that like and subscribe. We are so grateful. Um, okay, so now you got the moon. Yeah, if there was any fugazi things being done behind your back, any lies, any secrets, I mean, it's all coming out into the open with this moon. There's a releasing of fear. There's a clarity and understanding, subsiding anxiety. So that's good. Show me. You also have the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, somebody who's vibrant, male or female. They are self-assured. They are charismatic, optimistic. So that's good. There's a lot of fire here. You also have the magician, Gemini energy. So maybe this is somebody that, you know, is manifesting you or you're manifesting them, but somebody who takes whatever they have available to them and alchemizes the situation to the best of their ability. They actually get in there and do the work. They're not just standing there, you know, saying hocus pocus. They're, they're actually doing the alchemizing. So putting the work in. Now... You have justice. This is bringing fairness and balance into a situation. Somebody is manifesting some kind of fairness and balance in a situation here. And that might, you know, be having a new start with you. Show me. Libra, please. We have the king of wands. Ooh, the queen and the king. This is your ultimate. You know, this is your soulmate, your twin flame, your ultimate counterpart. You might have had past lives with this person. Um, whatever that is for you. But Aries Leo or Sagittarius... Okay, now, this is somebody that could have been standing their ground and persevering through a situation here with this nine of wands. Um, yeah, I'm hearing the struggle is real. One more for this. So, I mean, it takes a lot of strength and resilience, true grit. 
You also have uh, a six of pentacles. So again, generosity, you have it here as well. Support, you know, some kind of giving. Maybe somebody wants to be generous with you and share with you or what. This could be somebody that you shared with in the past. Now they're coming back around to share with you. I don't, I mean, I don't see any devil or any, so who knows what, but let me see. You got this loss and sadness. Yeah. What? Well, because you got the five of wands, Leo energy, some kind of conflict, struggle and disputes. Maybe you're getting, you're walking away from any kind of conflict, struggle and disputes. You're done Libra. Yeah. Cause you want to have solace, happiness and healing in your life. Look at this. You're done with the conflict and disputes. Some, you know, you want to be happy now. It's enough. Yeah, look, Capricorn energy. Did I say I felt that devil or what? Be careful of anybody that's toxic, codependent, manipulative. They could have addictions. They could have mental disorders. I mean, it could be anything. Anything hellish and devilish that you could think of, this is what this is. This also could be somebody that's a Capricorn or has sat Capricorn in their chart. Sun, moon, rising, a Venus, male or female. There is some kind of a, you know, a new beginning here that's going to bring you some kind of success and passion. So, I mean, there's that. Let's get some kippers for Libra. All right, so this has something to do with somebody's occupation. 34 or 7. Somebody's in a lot of concern so much that they're getting right here. 33 or 6. And there could be some kind of legal matter, some kind of adjudication here. So uh, we did get the Hierophant. So, yeah, be careful of that. Any paperwork you're signing, this could be a marriage, a divorce. You have 3333 as your numerology. If you want to go put that into Google, you get an angel code, maybe a message from your... Um, Guardian Angels, you have 18 or 9, so there's a child involved, there's somebody who's very innocent and uh, kind and, yeah, maybe even naive, maybe even naive. You also have some kind of a mature man involved in this, number 5. Um, he looks very, very distinguished and uh, experienced. You also have 16 and 7, so some kind of thoughts. This is my free parking card. Either you're in somebody's head and they can't get you out and nobody's paying rent or vice versa or you're thinking about each other. You also have a mature woman. So there's a mature woman and a mature man involved in this. Number six and number five. At the bottom, somebody's wealthy. It's probably some kind of wealthy man because that's what it says, 13 or four. So yeah, be mindful of that. Um, show me. So I gave you the numerology, three, 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 very predominant. You have Maximus, number 15 or six. Can you feed others when, you, how can you feed others when your own table is empty? Well, that's true, right? Show me. You have, what do you need to release? The waning moon. You also have Taurus energy. Let's see what else. So there's that. A lot of that for the count over here. Look at this. You have um, meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. You also have Believe in the impossible, the blue moon. What else? You have Mars, so Aries and Scorpio. You also have Gemini. You also have Virgo. You also have Prosperity Lies Ahead, New Moon and Taurus. Anything else for the astrology or the moonology? Anything else for the astrology or the moonology? Okay, that looks like it. So, at the bottom of this deck, you have Saturn, which I believe to be uh, Capricorn energy. Let's just get you a couple of letters. Thank you again for hitting that like and subscribe. We are so grateful. We really appreciate it. Okay, you have an R and a Y. I got Ray right off the bat. You got two A's. You have two I's. You have a B and an E, I'm hearing beanie, beanie. Maybe some of you like beanie babies. Maybe some of you are eating beans. Here's an N. You have three I's. Um, I'm also hearing binary, binary codes. You have two R's, a D and a T. So two R's, two A's, a Y. A B, E, E, an N, Benny. You also have D, T and three I's. Thank you so much again for hitting the like and subscribe and joining us. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light.